Okay then, we've got the line L1 is such that its equation is 3x plus 5y minus 2 equals 0 and for the first part then, part A, we've got to find the gradient. And very easy part because all you've got to remember is that any line has the form y equals mx plus c m being the gradient. So we just got to rearrange it into that format first of all. And we can do that simply by adding 2 and subtracting 3x from both sides. If we do that we therefore have 5y equals 2 minus 3x. Or you could write obviously minus 3x plus 2. Then just divide both sides by 5 and you end up with y equals 2 fifths minus 3 fifths x. Okay, and that gets it into this format. The m value in front of the x now is going to be minus 3 fifths. So it follows from this then that the gradient equals minus 3 fifths. The gradient of L1, there you go, gradient of L1 equals minus 3 fifths. Now for part b then, we've got to find equation of the line L2 and it's perpendicular to this line. So we're also told it passes through a point 0.31. So what I'd like to do is just draw a quick sketch just to get a feel for the problem. You could do it without a sketch but uh, we'll just put a sketch up. 3.1, that'll be 3 across, 1 up. So we'll say that that's the point 0.31. And What's the line L1 going to look like? Well, we know that it's got a gradient of minus 3 fifths, so it's going to be sloping in this direction and it crosses the y-axis at 2 fifths. So we're looking at a line, something maybe like this. Just draw it in. And that point up there would be 2 fifths. Now, the line that we want then has got to be perpendicular to this line here and passing through 3, 1. So you're looking at something like this maybe. Okay? And if we just extend the y-axis down, this will be the line L2 and this green line L1. And we know that they intersect at right angles. Now any line the blue line in particular, any line has the form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. We should be familiar with that form of a straight line. x1, y1 is a point on the line and we've got that already. We've got 3, 1. x1 is the 3, y1 is the 1. m is the gradient of this line and that's what we're missing at the moment but we know that it's perpendicular to the green line L1 and we should know that if you've got lines that are perpendicular that the product of the gradients, that is if you multiply them together, should come to minus 1. So we would need to multiply this with 5 thirds. It's a simple rule that the gradient of a perpendicular line, in this case the gradient of L2, all you need to do is switch the sign, so minus to a plus and invert the fraction, so it's 5 thirds. Now we've got that, we can get the equation of the line, so I would put therefore the equation of L2, okay, is, okay, try not to write equals there, common mistake, okay? The equation of L2 is, and then it's going to be y minus y1, which is going to be the 1 here, equals m, 5 thirds in this case, bracket x minus x1, and x1 is the 3. Now we need to get this in the form y equals mx plus c, we're told. So there's various ways of doing this. I find Personally, it's easier to get rid of the fraction, the 3 here, so I would want to multiply both sides by 3. So we would therefore have 3y minus 3 
equals, and if we multiply this one term here by 3, it's just going to leave us with 5 bracket x minus 3, which if we expand out is going to be 5x minus 15. If we add 3 now to both sides, we end up with 3y equals 5x minus 12, and then divide both sides by 3, and you end up with y equals 5x over 3, or you could think of it as 5 thirds x, and then minus 12 divided by 3, well that's going to be minus 4. And that's in the form then, y equals mx plus c. And you can check it out with your sketch here. You can see that it crosses the y-axis at minus 4. There you go. And that looks good. The gradient is 5 thirds, positive gradient, steeper than this one here, okay, at negative 3 fifths. So the sketch hopefully helps to check to see whether your answer looks reasonable. And that's why I'd encourage you to draw sketches with coordinate geometry questions. Okay, well that brings us to the end then to this particular question.